Hey everyone, today I wanted to show y'all how I make leather corks for um, the, the little fairy bottle jewelry that I make. Um, <clears throat> I get my bottles um, from the vet, they're what, like vaccines and stuff are in and they have the, these little like gray or orange like rubber um, caps, they look very medical. Um, and in an effort to make them look a little bit more organic and like very and natural and stuff, um, I find that just a little leather cork as a replacement is a perfect uh, substitute. And also, it's a great way to utilize uh, scrap leather. Now, uh, I have three sizes of vaccine bottles, kind of um, a wider one and then two that have very similar diameters um but one shorter than the other all three of these fortunately take the same size cork so that's fantastic um the tools that you'll want for today's project are some scrap leather the thicker the better this is like a nine or ten ounce um vegetable tanned leather so it's very i mean stiff like i can't i can't hardly even bend this um and then I have found that for me, the 5 sixteenths hole punch works really well. So let's get down here so you can see what's going on. There we are. I have a very stable surface. I have a cutting board and I have my leather. And you can see I get a lot of use out of um, this, this one piece of leather. And so I'm just going to place my hole punch and then I have a rawhide hammer. You could use a rubber mallet, just whichever you prefer and whichever you have. And then this is gonna be kind of loud, but. You wanna get a nice clean cut going on here. And then you could use a pen or whatever you have to just push that piece of leather through and save it. And so now from here, I'm going to use my bent nose pliers to kind of pinch down this end to give it a little bit more of a taper. And it kind of shrinks and elongates the whole, um, the whole piece of leather that's going to be our cork. And I try to do this predominantly just at the end that's going to be inserted. And so now from here, well, I'm just going to pick a bottle and insert it. There you go. Just like that. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to y'all. Um, if you have any ideas or questions or comments, please just send me a message or uh, hit me up on Messenger or something. Um, and then from here, I wire wrap them and sell them as pendants because you can take the quirks out they're pretty secure like pretty secure it's not glued in or anything so here we go yeah you can kind of wiggle the quirk out and you can put whatever you want in the little bottle which makes it really fun and interactive um but um if you have any ideas questions or comments you know please leave them in the comment area or send them to me um if you have suggestions for future videos, I'm always up for uh, hearing your ideas because reasons. <laughs> it's just, it's I'm lonely, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I hope y'all have an awesome day. And um, if you want to continue, like if you want to support, sorry, words are so hard. If you would like to support the free tutorials and different things that I do here on our Urban Homestead, um, as well as to participate in our fairy house giveaway. This is the one for January and y'all are actually gonna get a sneak peek at this one I just sculpted. Um, for February 2017's uh, Fairy House giveaway. So for a dollar a month, you put your name in the hat to win a one-of-a-kind hand-sculpted home for the gnomeless or fairy house or just whatever you like. Um, so yeah, the link for Patreon will be down there 
I'm going to go because these words are so hard. <laughs> I love y'all. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys around.